gonna just be a montage of getting on the treadmill really early into starting to get back into shape or exercise in general. January 19th, 2022. January 22nd, 2022. So yeah, you know, a couple days are passing. Just getting on that treadmill. I'm not doing that great on the treadmill as I get started. Yeah, I'm sort of working up to doing an hour at four miles an hour. But there's some other stuff you could have done, uh, just like walking on the treadmill. And uh, previously, when I've done the treadmill before, I basically only got up to uh, a mile at 6 miles an hour, which is uh, 10 minutes. You gotta get back there. And basically, whatever speed you put it on, you'll do like half a mile. Or, uh, supposed to jog at 4.3 because it says on the thing that you're burning twice as many calories, but I don't think we're supposed to believe what the thing says about how many calories we're burning. <laughs> That's something I want to do is jog at four miles an hour and just keep on throwing little jabs for an hour. It's like, well, let's just wait until we can consistently go for an hour at four miles an hour before we do that. And then another thing you can do is just move your arms around a bunch while walking on the treadmill. You know, just like do vertical raises and horizontal raises and uh, hang balls and uh, tricep exercise and uh, bicep curls and bench presses about weights and uh, rows and do like 10 to 30 of them you're warmed up. And here I'm trying to do that thing where I ride a bike while playing video games again. Yeah, I thought that was gonna go better, but I don't know. The stationary bike thing is not really gonna do a lot for your fitness. Sort of like a fun novel thing to do, try to play video games while riding a bike. You could also try playing a card game on the treadmill. You can watch movies on it. Trying to watch all these YouTube playlists I've put together. I'll be doing that for quite some time. And the thing about the treadmill, it's an advantage that other people don't have. So if I'm trying to be informative and help other people, the treadmill doesn't really help a lot of other people. But after my last workout program where I tried to not use this stuff, it's like, well, I can't wait any longer to try and get in shape. And I have all the equipment. There's no point in just not using it just because other people don't have it.
Yep. Oh, and this is the webcam, the Logitech camera. Yeah, I was able to use four cameras in this video, the Logitech webcam, and then the laptop cameras in the Acer Windows laptop, the uh, MacBook, and the Chromebook. Oh, and then also my iPhone. So that was just, uh, you know, I'm just juggling a bunch of videos. And then all those videos are really long. Those are like hour long videos, multiple ones of, you know, like four hour long videos per day every time I worked out and then only taking like 15 seconds from the video and then like speeding up 15 minutes of it for a little sped up part and then deleting all of it. He's like, yep, yeah, yep, that's that's part of the process. And you know, just so you can get used to more of these cameras and stuff. You might have thought you were looking all right until you see some of the footage and then that stomach keeps on oozing out. And it's just oozing. Oh well. I mean yeah, no, that looks fine. Yeah. It's hard to get around to doing the good workout, so a lot of the time just get on the treadmill and uh, just jog for an hour. January 24th, 2022. And I almost thought about not even putting the FaceTime commentary on this and just posting what I put together. But I figure now I'd try and do a FaceTime commentary and see how it goes. Oh yeah, I'm using all these transitions in iMovie. And that's the uh, Acer camera, which I really like. January 27, 2022. As you see, you can see the thing folds up, so it's very economic. That's what that means. And you, know, you just lift the thing up and push it in the corner. <laughs> and most of them do that. Nowadays, yeah, I got this treadmill for six hundred dollars. I think it was nine hundred, but I got it from Sears when they were going out of business. And you can see my selfie stick in this shot on the left. There's my phone. Hello. I mean, uh, the best way to do it is to just uh, stream your workout on Twitch. Don't worry, no one will watch. And you can download it from there. Otherwise, you have to do a whole bunch of 10 second videos and email those to yourself or whatever if they're minute long videos however long you do you 
can upload them to YouTube and download them from there. <laughs> Those are the ways I figured out how to get videos off my phone. Can't figure out how to get them straight off the phone and onto the computer. It doesn't work that directly. I don't know. I'm just trying to get you the problem solved. It's pretty annoying though. And I'm soaking my feet every day in Epsom salt because I have uh, plantar warts. One on each foot. And yeah, hopefully that will cure it. And hopefully, maybe that's what you do for athlete's foot too. I don't know, but you're going to have foot problems eventually. I'm even thinking about taking Epsom salt baths after the thing is taken care of. You know, just see how an entire bath feels in Epsom salt. I don't know. I mean, it says you can drink it for uh, a laxative. I don't know. I'll look more into that. I don't know. I've never taken a laxative before. Fantastic. And here I'm doing four videos at the same time as I'm just opening them up at the same time on the uh, MacBook with QuickTime and I'm just screen capturing them to play. No fancy program. And I think if you did go to the gym of all that stuff on your body bouncing around, uh, you'd probably get some laughs. Or if someone did laugh, you'd worry that they were laughing at you. And that's how it feels to be, you know, sort of out of shape. Someone laughs and you take it personally. You don't even know if they were laughing at you. But I do it so I can lift more weight and so I can try and solve the all overweight heavyweight puzzle. Because I think I just need to do HIIT, high intensity interval training for a year. Well, good luck with that. It's real difficult to get that much momentum as a heavyweight person. <laughs> well, yeah, I got a Home Depot bucket now, and hopefully that Home Depot bucket, soaking your feet in that, will, you know, all of the things those buckets are used for will magically travel through your body and you'll get better at doing manual labor. See that? Pretty cool. I like having all those little videos of me going. Yeah, that's what I use as a screensaver now. It does sort of confuse me. Like, how much am I actually working out? Because it looks like I'm working out a ton. And actually, I just got on the treadmill a little bit every other day for a week or two. It's taking me a long time to edit the footage.